Hey, in this video I want to introduce you to a new book that's out there called Entangled Life and how it is that we got to grow mushrooms on it. So the book is called Entangled Life. It was written by Merlin Sheldrake and it's about how fungi make our worlds, change our minds and also shape our futures. You see, not many people realise the incredible role that fungi play in our daily lives and not many forms of life will survive without fungi. And this book helps us to better understand not just life but also the planet on which we live. And I'm also incredibly proud that Merlin himself was around here on the farm a few months ago to ask us if we could help him to grow mushrooms on this book and to make an incredible time lapse out of this. And I want to show you how we did that, but also want to show you the final result because I think you'll find it absolutely amazing like I did. Oyster mushrooms are really easy to grow and in the wild they break down incredibly tough lignin, hemicellulose and cellulose that you f find in trees for instance. There's a separate video on the types of substrates you can use to grow mushrooms on and I'll put a link in this video for you. But the point here is that the paper of course is made of trees which means you can grow mushrooms on them and the process is not that difficult. Let me show you. So you can see the books and the spawn here. Now you don't need much spawn for this per book and you can see a tub full of it as I did a few on that day but aim for something around 10% of the wet weight or so. Right so then you start by pouring boiling water over the book. It might seem a bit of a strange thing to do but it's important to make sure that the mushroom spawn has got a clean run on the paper so there's no competing organisms in there. What you do next is just wait for it to cool off, make sure that all of the books when you open it all of the pages have been touched by the hot water so that all of them are relatively clean and then simply the aim for me was to layer as many layers of spawn and compress the book slightly so they touch so that the mycelium can feast on the nutrients that it finds in the book. After doing this for some time and you've finished as many layers as you possibly can, I simply put it in a 10 uh, tea bag but you can also put it in for instance a food bag and then you close it off and you leave it to incubate. So you can see what I did there to inoculate the books. I left them in incubation for about four weeks and then put them in our fruiting room and look at this. This is just really fun to see. It's quite unusual isn't it? You see mushrooms fruiting out of the books. They're not massive crops of course. That is due to the fact that they don't pack a bunch of nutrients like other substrates do such as coffee waste or straw. This is a lot of fun to do however, it's just such an unusual sight isn't it? So you can do it with kids at home and it's fairly simple. It's a nice way to recycle an old book. So these weren't recorded with a time lapse video at all but for the official book launch they were. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. Being fungi living groundwork, mycelium, mycelium. Like in stretching life stretching life time, small in waste, small in waste. Coming like in so far away, lines of our future lines, so far away, like in so far away, so far away. Wow, isn't that super? What a cool tune. It was written by uh, Merlin's brother Cosmo, who's clearly a very talented musician. And um, just a fun fact for you, this has been set to the soundtrack, which is a recording of the mycelium spreading through the book. And I knew they were going to do that, but to hear it actually form a beat like that, I, it's just blown my mind. In any case, I think it's a great addition. This book It's great. It's out there now so people can learn more about mushrooms and the incredible role that they play in our daily lives. I'll put a link below this video for you to grab a copy of the book. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed that.